During the lecture, I will present basic information and then as many clinical cases as possible. And that way, you don't only get a bunch of uh, words and slides, but we actually want you to see uh, these new skill sets put into practice. I came in with uh, the idea um, the implants were a difficult thing. Dr. Sobs made it very, very, uh, very useful for me in my practice to think that this, this can be done. Dr. Saab has done an amazing job guiding not just me, but all of us into feeling comfortable placing our first implant. He's very laid back, he's very approachable. It's more of a conversation and a discussion versus him standing up and, and lecturing to us. He's not talking to us or at us, he's talking with us and really involving us in the learning process. Him talking about the practicality of offering uh, this type of service in your general practice opposed to just referring everything out. Um, just kind of the ideology behind, you know, starting with simple cases and, uh, you know, working your way up to the more complicated things and to know your limitations, knowing when to refer out and when not to. He really focuses on how to get this into your practice and implement it rather than, you know, other courses I've been to have been more about the science, um, more about the products. His is about implementation. I've really enjoyed the hands-on experience. That's, that helps me personally as an assistant to be able to um, perform at my best ability for the doctor. You know, I like the way that Dr. Saab gets to know the doctors. Uh, during his lectures, he oftentimes comes off the podium and, and gets into the audience and helps them. When they worked on their hands-on exercises, he was right there to try to help them be prepared for some of the pitfalls that they might come across when they're doing these procedures in their own practice. We just got done with a segment where there was probably 20 questions. He broke them all back down. They were very simple responses. And the other thing is that when he gets a question, it, there's no stupid questions. It, it's about, let's get serious here. Let's make sure that you understand what we're doing so you can duplicate this skill set in your office on Monday. Anything that they actually are going to end up doing in the clinic, I want them to do on that first basic lecture. It'll actually consolidate everything that we go through on the basic training, they actually get to practice it. And I think that's a wonderful way to solidify that, that knowledge and get you ready to take the next step and actually perform it on a patient.